Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do mermaid scale tie-dye. This is the end result. If you are interested in seeing how I did this, stay tuned. Here are some of the supplies you will need. You can have a dye of your choice. We use Tulip One Step Dye. We use cookie cooling racks to drip off the excess dye. And you can have two choices on how you want to tie your shirts. You can have rubber bands or zip ties. You will also need a washable marker to map out your scales. Our kit came with gloves, so if yours doesn't, you will need gloves. We also laid out a garbage bag as our workspace. Here we are showing you what the end result of the tying will look like, and we'll have it on the side for reference. First we have our dry shirt. It'll depend on what dye you use if you need it wet or dry, but she is taking out all the wrinkles as possible with her hands. Next she's going to fold it lengthwise and match it up with the sleeves. Next you will have to fold it lengthwise one more time. and fold the sleeve inward. Now taking your washable marker, we're going to map out the scales. The scales kind of look like a wave or a Christmas tree pattern. I'll zoom in so you can see it right here. We also did multiple shirts and we went different directions and they both turned out fine. You can always go back and touch up spots with your marker. Now you need to scrunch up the line as straight as possible, going with the pattern of the line that you drew. For this first line, we used a rubber band. She wrapped it around twice and stuck it on. We had better luck with zip ties, so we used zip ties for the rest of the shirt. Here is a demonstration of us using a zip tie. Once you are done tying it, it will look zigzaggy. Some of these shirts had eight zip ties and some had seven, but the outcome was very similar to each other and it turned out well. Now it is time for dye. We use the darkest color where the rubber band or the zip tie is and then you work out to the lightest color. It works best for us when we use three different colors to get a very gradient effect. So this one we are using purple, a diluted blue, and teal. So for the blue, you line it up right next to the purple on both sides. The white spots that remain will be covered with your last color, and then you will turn the shirt over and repeat all three colors. Depending on what dye you use, 
It will depend on how long it needs to sit. We use the tulip, so it said six to eight hours. And then after that, we are rinsing it and wringing most of the color that we could out before removing the ties. Now that we are finished rinsing, we are removing the ties, we remove the rubber band with our hands, and remove the zip ties with scissors. And here's the look of the shirt before you wash it. Here is another shirt that we did with different colors so you can see the difference. Again, depending on the kit that you have, depends on how you wash it. This one we had to wash in hot water with little soap. And this is the next day. This is Tyler modeling it for me. And I closed up so you can see all the colors. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you try this out and if you're successful in the color combinations that you tried. If you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.